the digital concert hall is the virtual concert hall of the Berlin Philharmonic Orchestra and we are broadcasting every concert the orchestra gives live um, over the internet which you can then watch on either a TV or your mobile phone or even on your computer. After a few days after the live broadcast, the concerts are put into an archive where, where, where the fan or the music lover can watch it afterwards. And we have, by now, we have something like 210 concerts in the archive. And each season we broadcast about 40 new concerts of the orchestra. Usually we have three concerts prior to the live transmission where we adjust the cameras, where we program the camera settings uh, and then during the live transmissions the cameramen only have to recall the camera settings because everything is remotely controlled and we don't work with cameramen in the hall. So in the control room, can you just quickly tell me what everybody's responsibility is? The director is the one who calls the shots and um, pushes uh, the button. He has prepared the score so that he uh, decided exactly where to show what. Um, he's the central point of the whole thing, but the camera operator is just as important because he controls seven cameras at the same time, uh, remotely controlled cameras from the studio. There's another uh, camera operator in the hall, uh, which um, takes pictures just of the solos, and right of the director is the score reader, because of course, the director can read the, the score, quite obviously, but um, he has to watch at the screen while he's uh, pushing the button. So he needs an assistant who reads the score for him and tells him, OK, bar so-and-so coming up and the oboe solo, and now is the, uh, the edit you wanted to, to do there. And then, in this split second, the video director decides, am I going to do it right now or maybe a fraction of a second later because there's just this visual dialogue between the conductor and the harp player and when he gives the entrance then he decides okay now i'm gonna press the button it's very impressive the, the audience is growing you're seeing numbers going up oh yes absolutely we have constant growth uh, in the last five seasons of about 30 percent every year you have to, if you can buy seven days and for seven days you can you have to pay about 10 euros Thirteen dollars, and but with these ten euros, you can watch everything. You can watch the whole archive, the two hundred concerts, and you can watch every live transmission which is taking place within those seven days. And the most expensive ticket is the yearly ticket, the twelve-month ticket, where you have to pay one hundred and forty-nine euros, more or less, two hundred dollars. And but then you have a whole season. You know, you have forty transmissions and the whole archive and all the documentaries and all the education programs which we put in there, all the all the interviews which we record for the transmissions. Uh, for every concert, we have to do something for the intermission, and we mostly record we could record interviews with the, with the artists. I think the most fantastic thing by now is that we have such a huge archive of the core repertoire of classical music at the highest level in high definition with fantastic sound, plus not the core repertoire. You will find amazing pieces you would never dream of, 